Hi, it's me, Pam Vinny, and I thought I'd show you the progress that I made uh, since choosing some of my items and supplies and, you know, fabrics and laces. Uh, also, I did add some coffee dyed paper to the papers I showed you before, and I thought I could maybe... Get some book pages, <clears throat> thoughts for food, a menu aid. This is like a vintage book, first edition. Um, let's see, where is the date? 1938. So that might be fun. Oh, look at this. Wartime canning. Michigan State College. That's awesome. So, yeah, I think I'll add some of these recipes in here into the journal. The, it's going to be kind of vintage, um, shabby, chic, just, just kind of the way it's leading me. I also have this old Boston cooking or cooking school cookbook. Fanny Farmer, Fanny Merritt Farmer. Look how old that is. That'd be fun to add some of these recipes in there. I have this lion yarn book. And look at the fun pictures in here. Uh, this, then I found the book that the cover came from. The cover, really cool. Collier's New Encyclopedia. Trim to Zyra and Nosk. Zyria Nosk. Reference book. So, I don't know. I guess I have to put something in there from the book. Heart, kidney, I don't know. Measles. <laughs> we might find something. Mental. Maturity. Laryngitis. I'll figure it out. Hepatitis. Uh, and then I have another book, Crafting with Lace. Look at that cool book. Battenberg Ornament. Just some things I might be able to add. We'll see, but that's cool. Heirloom sewing with lace. So I think what I might make this like a little journal that a lady, I'll think of her name, is using to put some memories or keepsakes or <clears throat> things in. <clears throat> and I'll just let... The pages lead me where it wants to go. So what I did, I got this fabric and I added it to the book and I left the edges like so. And now, and then I sewed it in two signatures. And this is what we have so far. So I'll just show you what I've done. I've added a thicker scrap of paper here, and that's going to be a pocket. I've got some envelopes, and this one is a vellum one that I cut open here, and then to this coffee dyed paper, I added it here, 
and you can't really see it because the vellum uh, flap is clear. So you have that fun little flap. I did, um, also what I did was, besides putting the book together, I added um, some stenciling to the pages, you know, on the other side that didn't, that were white. So I did some stenciling first, and then I came back and used some stamps that I had. And here's the coffee dyed paper that I used, added uh, this, <clears throat> excuse me, I stenciled lightly on the back of that. Here is a bag that opens at the top that I, I'll show you on the other side, I folded it a small uh, seam or small fold. I'll show you when I get to that point. This is vellum. Here's a pocket here. I love this paper. It's got the texture to it. Um, and then this dyed envelope matches this. So I added that here and cut it. And I'll try it around the corner there. This vintage type paper. And then I did add the vintage uh, ledger. Middle. The other part of the ledger. The other side of the envelope pocket okay. oh here so I folded it so I could add that envelope Where is it? oh here uh, yeah this so I just scored it this bag and then I took that edge and added it there so I could have that bag in there. So I glued it. Copy A little bit of an imprint. Good stenciling and stamping. Pocket, that's the first signature. Here's the second. Envelope that's open at the top. Copy dyed, copy dyed. Stenciling and stamp. I did some light stenciling here so it wouldn't be so plain. There's a bag. Coffee dyed. Pocket. Got a vellum bag here that I cut here. And this is the middle of the uh, Second signature. Pocket. Bag. Stenciling. So the next thing that I will do is open at the top vintage ledger uh, is add 
pockets. So that's what I have so far. So I will add my pockets and then I will come back. Okay, I did go ahead and I'll put in a few pockets. Um, this was a um, chipboard piece that I backed on paper because it was a sticker. Um, and then I tore it, the paper around it, so to make a tuck. And I, I, I'm probably going to put a real... I don't know what I'm going to do, but that this is a possibility. And then, uh, what else did I do? Okay, here I just added another chipboard piece. And I, it was a sticker, so I backed it on um, white cardstock, inked it. And then added this little dyed sari silk. And then this will be a tuck here. On this page, uh, the, I added um, this is a scrap of paper. And I just tore some of the paper that I got from Tamo, that little small paper pad. And then I added this piece. From Timu, but I don't like the white edge, so I did cut all around that. And then here I added a label in this little piece there, and it will be a pocket, and that pocket will hold whatever's in it closed. And let's see, anything else? Yeah, a few more things. I think I'm going to put this bag here somewhere. Okay. What else? Okay. Then here I have this paper bag that I just folded. Added this piece to it that I cut around it. It was a piece from the vintage scrapbook kit. And then I inked, you know, all around it. You know, cut off the white edges and then this can be clipped here. I'll probably you know, use a different paper clip, but I'm just going to put this here for now. So I did that, and then around here, well, this will be a tuck, and then I can use it as a pocket. I mean, as a paper bag to store things. And then on this scrapbook paper, uh, it has kind of a patchwork look to it anyway so i took this piece and inked it and added it onto here so that you could also journal so this piece i cut around it i didn't like the white edging and then inked it so you have another little place there okay i think i did something here yeah this envelope I took uh, some scrapbook paper, inked it, and then this little vellum type piece is left open. So you can add something in there. And I'm probably going to clip this. I don't need the little clutch back. There's a little um, green in it that I had dyed. And when I dyed it, I think it looks pretty with that background there. And it says, a bright idea. Meet me Sunday at the hall. Miss Lena Hacker Hackathon, New Meta Morris, Ohio. What does it say? 1917. Friend Lena, how was the hall Sunday night? I couldn't come. I suppose you had a fine time, though. How did Jen and Dorsey get along? Suppose he will have a desire to come to the hall now. <laughs> Answer soon. I don't know what the EVA that says 
that's cute. So I like that little green here and the edging. So that's really cute. Okay, can I get that paper clip to work? My hands to work? Okay, and for now, this is what I've got. Thought I'd show you my progress. I might add this somewhere, maybe here. It's really pretty. Another vintage postcard, and it has the same coloring in here. And I, this was a digital, and I'm going to, I might, I'm going to put gold around it. And I uh, have dye from avocado, so I know that'll go somewhere in there. This might go in here. I'm going to add more, of course. Showing you my progress so far. Oh, and then here on this paper, I had this vellum piece. I added that label, and then this will be a pocket. It's wrapped around, and then I'll ink these up, but these little papers can go in here. And then what I'm thinking I will do here on this pretty scrap of paper is I had this um, thicker cardstock paper and it was wider, um, but I cut it to fit the size of the paper. And then what I'm going to do is, look how cute it is. It looks like it has little areas where you, you know, put your stamps in. So what I thought I'd do is glue it here so that you could you know stick other things in there so we can do that in a moment so i will add this on these three sides onto this piece I think I'll line it up to about here. I think this goes up a little bit farther there. Like that. And then you'll have a tuck here. And now I will ink around this put that down like that and it has kind of the same color as that page here And it's fun to have different little tucks. And then this will, um, you know, have a little place to tuck things here. And then here. Okay, let's see. Okay, then the next thing I did, I have this scrap of paper I really love. It's got like glitter here and you know, it kind of looks like lace. So I'm thinking if I made some kind of tuck here. I do I want to do this? That's kind of cool. I match that to here. The lace is on that side. What was I thinking? I was thinking of maybe cutting it here and then wrapping this around like that. It would be interesting. Just don't know. Do I want like that to here? I think I do. Okay, so if I cut it here, I 
that. And then I would I think I think I'm going to let it go all the way because I may just put a lace down, uh, over it. So I'm going to fold it here. And then I can attach it here. Or I could go like that. Uh, I think I'm going to do it like this because... Um, yeah, actually, why don't I just tear or cut this here? Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to want this to be a bit of a tuck here. But I like that this shows here, this lace imprint. So we can glue it here to make a type of belly band. Like that. And then we're going to have a tuck. That will be here. Then that would be pretty. And then you're going to have a little tuck here. So for now, that is what I have. And I will continue on and show you my progress. So see you next time. Bye-bye.